let's move our already existing textures to the new UV coordinates. Let's say we put down the UV layout. And this is going to change our UVs. And now our, our texture maps are not are no longer in the right place. In a in a lives baker is actually a very cool feature that you can transfer UV maps, UV textures to our new UV coordinates. So what I'm going to do is disable all the ones. This is going to be just a demonstration and I'm going to go in deep oak once I demonstrate this method. So what we what we have to do in the baker put the high resolution our original UVs and the new in a low you put in the ones that we just made with the UV layout. Now for that all you have to do is just to put down which which ones you want to bake. For now I'm just going to put down a diffuse but once but in the but in the video I'm going to show all the with the different objects with all the five maps you can bake out transfer all the UVs textures. So just press on bake. So once it's done, put down a quick material. Quick material, we go to the principal shader and pick our just baked out texture and you can see now we have our new UV layout but with the same texture map that we had in here. Now let's try out and bake out all the other maps that you can transfer textures. So we have diffuse, normal, opacity, roughness and metallic. So for this example what I have done is in Substance Painter with the mantle roughness with alpha blending shader I have created this, I have textured this object with this shader ball that's actually one of the objects you can load in as a test geometry in Substance Painter and added some of the more so I have added normal with this with this shape and also opacity channel like this and now all we want to do is export these channels in export make sure you have opacity as you can see we do not have opacity so we are not exporting opacity what you can do is in a configuration go here go to the PBR math roughness and you can just duplicate maybe the last one I missed was duplicated and there's an option for opacity and you just point in here and choose the gray channel and just call opacity like that and basically that's it then you just reselect the uh, PB, uh, PBR metal rough and you should get opacity channel make sure you know where it saves then export it now we can see our exported maps and if you're not sure if they exported correctly maybe if you set up some map all you you, what you can do is go back to the subject painter and you can actually press C and cycle between all the maps so base, height Roughness, metallic, opacity, normal, emissive, and all that. So let's say we want opacity. So opacity should look like this. And basically, it's exactly what it is. The white ones are dead, and so we know it's baked out correctly. Before we go back to Houdini, whenever you start to work with materials, there are some, there are map names, and you kind of need to understand what they are. So what I wanted to pay your attention is to this algorithmics PDF that you can find on their website. I'm going to link it, which talks all about the theory of the PBR shading. And in the first part, and the second one, it talks about two main workflows for the PBR, which is the metal roughness and spectral glossiness. As you have maybe noticed, that this quick shade. Material asks for base color, roughness, and metallic. So that is metal roughness workflow. And the spec glossiness is you can get the same material but with different different texture maps. You can see that even the albedo diffuse is a lot different than base color for this. In diffuse, 
map actually the met metallic parts are actually black so just make sure you are using the right maps in the right right workflow when working in substance painter once you're exporting and also the common both ambient occlusion normal and height so i would definitely recommend anyone who's working with materials this this read it's pretty light read and you get a tons of information that's very useful because this is basically the very 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 foundation of the PBR and of any physics based rendering. In Houdini I have loaded up our shader and in quick material all I have done is the baked out textures I have piped into its places like that and now we have our baked out textures inside Houdini with the opacity also working. You can play around with these with these Scale with metallic and roughness and IR numbers, but really doesn't matter for us to move these UVs. So now let's just put down a UV layout. Now you can see our UVs are all messed up. I'll just put down the baker. So, like time before we put our new one after our old UVs in a high and the new in a low. One thing to make sure before baking is to set your gamma correctly. Roughness metallic for me is 2.2, diffuse also 2.2 and normal is yet one. So that we get the same coloring for our newly baked out textures so that material looks exactly the same. As we exported it from Substance Painter. Now, when you have set it all up, you can just press on Bake. And what it's going to do is transfer our textures to new coordinates. And we can make sure by it, just put down under a quick material. And this, just select these newly member where you bake them out. Opacity. So we have opacity normal, roughness, and metallic. Like that. Put metallic at very first. Like that. So now what we have is our new UVs. So we have these UVs. After layout, these UVs. And you can see that in this, we have our textures are all messed up. But after the baking and adding new materials, you can see that they are placed in the right position. And to make sure you you can just go to the baked out place, you can see that we have these spheres, which is original maps. You can just compare them with the newly baked out ones. You see that they are basically the same, only the position is a little bit off. And one last thing I wanted to show is how to merge together multiple objects. So now we can merge them together. Put down the UV layout. Now we have new UVs. I just put down the baker. So the new ones in new, low, and old ones in high. I deselect just diffuse. Let's take it out. Put down a quick material. Let's put it down. And in textures, just our new texture, you can see. We have successfully transferred them. This is a great method to add some new details for your already existing mesh. Maybe you want to add some bolts and your bolts are already textured. You just combine them together with the new. Or maybe you have like a table set and you have maybe four, five, twelve maps. You can just pack them 
four objects on from like a table set together in one 2k map and and not to worry about the four sets of maps so i think it's pretty useful hope you found this video informative and see you next time